Oh, sounds good. Sounds great. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds good. I hope it sounds good. All right, here we are. We're going live. On the Metal Voice. No, we're not going live. We are live. We are. We live. are now live. <laughs> with Audio Stu, check. Stu Block Ugh. himself here in the Metal Voice. It's been too long, actually, since we had Stu on. He's a yeah. great guest. I always enjoy having Stu. Yeah. So gonna... Listen to this. The first time, and you probably don't even remember this, Stu. First time we met you was actually mm-hmm. outside in Montreal in the back of, you know, where all the vans are. We took a picture, but we interviewed John that day. Mm-hmm. And that was your first sort of like your first major tour, I guess, right? That, yeah. With the, yeah. With, yeah. Yeah. And, and yeah. then and then we met you later on when I, I can't remember what band was playing with. Was it Sabaton? No. Maybe well, the first one was Symphony X. That was a great double bill. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Symphony X, and yeah. then we did do Sabaton, so very well could have been. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two. And, yeah. and I did an interview with you at uh, downstairs in that. Oh God, where Corona. is that club? Uh, Corona, Corona, yeah. Corona. Yeah, Cor- yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The big dressing rooms in the basement. There. <laughs> right. <laughs> Every smell imaginable. <laughs> Good. So mm-hmm. some really cool news. Excited to have a fellow Canadian on, especially in Regina. We have. Do we have any, any guests from Regina, Alan? Well, I'm thinking he might, might monopolize the rock star in, in Regina. I mean, you know, this guy are, might have an amount. Are the Northern of Pikes, are they still around Regina, the Northern Pikes? Or what's going on there? Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I haven't uh, kept track, but I, I sure hope so. But uh, no, yeah, uh, proud to be representing, definitely. Good, 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 good. All right, Stu Block has announced his permanent return to his pre-Iced Earth band Into Eternity. Oh, Block, yeah. who left Into Eternity in 2011, was replaced by Amanda Kiernan. Is my pronouncing her name right? <laughs> yes, sir. Broke the news of his official reunion with his former bandmates two days after he performed live with them at the Loud as Hell Festival in Alberta. And oh, I guess you announced it. On, I mean, first, I guess you teased the crowd a little bit. You played sure. together. Yeah. Tell us about that. Just tell us well, about what's going on here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, honestly... Um, you know, Tim and I had always talked about doing stuff with each other and just it was the perfect, perfect thing that was happening. We just uh, we decided to get together and uh, Tim actually just contacted me. He says, you know, I know, you know, you got a little bit of free time right now. Do you want to come just sing a couple of songs with with uh, with <laughs> yes. with me? And uh, so, we, you know, we ended up jamming a um, couple times and, um, you know, it's uh, into eternity. I ha- has it's very close to my heart because we did a lot together as well. You know, pre pre Iced Earth, we, we we toured quite a bit and. Uh, Tim not only is is a great bandmate, but he's a great musician. He's also a very good friend of mine as well. He's he was one of the, he was the best man at my wedding. So, yeah, um, so you know, so we have a it's a it's um, we've always maintained being friends over the years and stuff. So I've always and uh, you know, a few years years ago, I I came up on stage and sang a song with Amanda one time, and it's always been something that I was, so I, was, I said, yeah, let's do it, let's do it, and. Uh, Honestly, man, the moment we started jamming, it was just like this energy and this magic coming back. And uh, we just really felt it. And uh, as we jammed more and as we started talking and I just, uh, you know, Into Eternity is very complex vocally. Like there's there's it's there's counter melody stuff going on and there's a bunch of stuff. And even with one with having Tim is a phenomenal singer as well. And uh, so having two singers, you can do quite a bit, but you can't do everything. So, you know, we just thought, hey, let's try and do some stuff and just do a few songs at this loud as hell. And I so I said, listen, I'll do the Amanda takes the first half. I'll take the back half and we'll do at a couple and just have some fun. <laughs> super raw, super stripped down. I mean, that festival is beautiful. It's amazing. But it was like it's a load and go situation. We only got like three or four jams. Right. So um, the main thing about coming back is just getting, getting that chemistry uh uh you know bringing it back and uh and as we as we were hanging out and as we were doing everything you know i i was i just felt this is just so perfect that the the vision that the whole band has is let's let's let i want to do more music with let's do some more music with each other and i think that we'll with with amanda as well she's just such a phenomenal vocalist as well and with tim and then they've got troy and matt and uh, they're all vocalists as well. It's like w- just the opportunity is there to really put out some awesome music for for Into Eternity fans to enjoy. Wow. And 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 I think I think that's the main thing. Just bring it back and bring that chemistry back. I miss, I'm really did miss doing extreme vocals as well. Um, it's one. It's it's I hold it very close to my heart. Um, 
Uh, and so, and I've always loved doing the hybrid thing and singing and doing the, you know, doing the death vocal thing and expressing myself in that way as well. So I just felt it's just the perfect time right now to sit down, write some awesome music. We've got a really good plan. Um, we've got a cool plan coming forward. Um, all will be revealed very soon, but we do have a plan for some EPs to be dropped um, and uh, I'll hopefully be dropping a single here soon. And, and uh, hint, hint, it is the 15th anniversary of uh, Scattering of Ashes. And so we may, be, may or may not be doing something cool with Timeless Winter. So I just want to, <laughs> so, uh, so we're, we've got some cool stuff uh, that we want to do um, and just uh, give those fans, because they're hungry for it. I didn't realize really how 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 many Into Eternity fans there are out there and how many really, really enjoy the music. And so I think it would be unfair to for for me to just go, no, I'm doing my own beat. I, I felt like I don't want to be selfish and I'm just going to do my solo thing or I'm just going to do, you know, my own thing. And, and, and I just felt like, I'm, which I will be doing, I want to focus on doing, I'm going to be doing some singles under Stu Block and I'm going to be doing some, some solo stuff, definitely. Um, but I just felt like Into Eternity still has a really awesome brand and uh, the, the fans are just so diehard. And so we just want to bring forth some, a really, really cool plan and uh, some really awesome music coming forward and, and perhaps some cool live shows and perhaps some touring. Um, we're, we're all getting older and we all have our things that we're doing. So and we're all busy doing stuff. So we're not going to be going out doing doing three month tours, two month tours and all that kind of stuff. We're going to we'll, we'll, we'll pick our battles, but I think we can do some I think we can hit some really cool markets and and bring it forth to the people and and put out some really awesome merch and that people will be proud of. I think it'll be cool. Yeah. There you go for all the uh, into eternity fans. And yeah. I'm looking forward to that. And uh, was there any uh, is anything else on your plate? I mean, that's 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 uh, quite a lot. We're done. Yeah. There. We're done. Yeah. No, we're done. We're done. We're done. We that's go. it. Have Easy a good show. one. Let's uh, have a beer. <laughs> that's, um, uh, that's right after the show. Okay. Okay. It's scheduled. Um, okay. Yeah. No, I, I I just wet my whistle just a little bit, but that's um, good. yeah. But uh, so basically, no. There's there's lots of other things happening. Um. There is going to be something happening next month uh, that I can't talk about hugely yet, but I think there are some people who have been anticipating some stuff. One tease and, after uh, another, day. right? Yeah, I know. Um, but soon, soon enough. I so you got a lot of stuff going on. I got <laughs> you trying to tell us. I got a lot we of can't tell us what. It's funny. Well, Jimmy, when you reached out, you were like, "Listen, it looks like everything's aligning." I'm like, "Well, it is, but I don't want to say no this time." So let's just. I'm just gonna. It's all good. It's be, all good. It's I'm gonna good. put my hair down and be a tease. That's what I'm gonna. Right. <laughs> okay. um, a hair no. tease is better than a uh, different type of tease. Uh, yeah, right. Right. Exactly. Exactly. No. Um, I think some fans would probably piece it together. Uh, the person that I was working with has has done a slight little teaser already, but um, we'll we'll let that all get revealed in its proper channels. And uh, but it, I think it's gonna it's gonna blow people away. It's gonna be pretty cool. Like I'm super proud of it, and so and it's gonna lead to other really cool stuff too. So next month there's gonna be something like it. So please watch out um, on my social media, and uh, and I'd like to come back and discuss more about it. Um, and uh, yeah, that'll be fun. And, uh, you know, uh, I'm, again, like I was saying, I'm going to be doing my, my solo. Um, mm -hmm. So eventually I want to have at least an EP, a solo EP done by next year. Now we're not, see, now you're bringing it yeah. out a little more. You're talking yeah, a little more, so stretching little it out. More, yeah. yeah, I can talk about. I can, I what can kind of music is, are you looking at doing? Um, what kind of? Well, I want to, of course, it's going to be, there's going to, it's going to be heavy. It's going to be metal. Um, but I'm really, um, I love I love mixing it up, as you guys know. So uh, I love doing I love all as long as music is done well, it's fine. Like I love and I listen to Harry Connick Jr. I listen to Michael Bublé, you know, but I listen to Cannibal Corpse as well. So it's you know, and I listen to everything in between. So um, I want to venture into some other genres as well. But I think each EP will reflect the genre. So, okay. uh, yeah. Hmm, so I want to be, yeah, with different artwork and, and different players and in, in within that genre. So, um, definitely I'm going to be hitting up some classic painkiller esque kind of stuff oh. uh, you know, for one stuff. And then, uh, yeah, some <laughs> super classic metal, you know, my, my, my classic influences. Cause I just love it. I just love doing that stuff. And then, uh, Venturing into new territories, jazz territories, perhaps maybe oh. uh, doing, and then the death metal territory mixed with other other influence as well. So, um, really looking forward to that. I've I've already got a line of musicians that uh, I know are on board that wanna that wanna wanna uh, write some stuff and just do some fun stuff. I'm all about just you know collaborating with my idols and um, 
collaborating with people that I really respect. And, uh, you know, and I think that once once you have that mutual respect, if it's all forced to just find like, you know, it's, oh, we have to work with this person because everybody wants you to. You know, yeah, that's how I feel about some interviews. Yeah, well, I know. <laughs> <laughs> not, this one, not this one. No, not I, this one. <laughs> no, I hear you. No, I hear you. I hear you. Um, but no, so I just want it to be. I want it to be very natural, and I want it to be something that comes from the heart. It's not contrived and uh, super cool stuff. So, uh, so there's a lot of solo stuff that I have up my sleeve. Um, when I do take it live, my wife will be my keyboard player. She uh-huh. is a fun. Yeah, she's gonna. She is a phenomenal rock singer. Um, you know, like uh, Darby Mills. That's all I can say. Oh, man. Yeah. Like, damn. Like, and so, so definitely. Darby Mills from uh, Toronto. Uh, Headpins. Head, 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 yeah, Headpins. Head 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 so, there you yeah. Go. And then. Don't you, know, don't you feel like dancing? What's it called? Don't yeah. You? And uh, what is it? Turn it loud. She does Turn a killer. Loud, oh, yeah. man. Yeah. So anyway, so I want to have her out and uh, she does great harmony work. She's a beautiful singer. She has a band called Chris the Sky. So if you guys are in- interested in checking that out, uh, go check her out. She's phenomenal. Um, but yeah, so uh, and hey. then I've got a bunch of players that I want to I want to hang with, man. It'll be talk, good. Talk, sounds talk, like talk. You're, you're entering the Rick Rick Emmett phase of your career. You know, I want to do a blues <laughs> well, no. album. I'll do a blues album. I'll I don't want to. I don't album. care. I don't want to. You know, I want to write a book of poetry. <laughs> I, yeah, I want to go out there and do a spoken word thing in front of three people a night. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> you know, I don't. I feel well, just like cringing the whole time but anyway i I just want to tell you that i I got a message todd latori saw that you're going to be on and he said to say hi to you and Uh, that and he also told me a story uh, once he also told me a story that you guys were on a cruise together the mega cruise or whatever cruise it was and you just hit this high note and even todd latori was saying oh "Oh my god how did you hit that high note and if todd latori is saying how did you hit that high note it must have been a high note well, I'll tell you, that gives me goosebumps because I look up to him immensely. And he is one of the most phenomenal singers, vocal, like uh, multi, multi-instrumentalists mm-hmm. and songwriter. Uh, you know, like that guy gives me goosebumps every time. I love his new album. It's absolute pure fire. Like, it's just, it's amazing. So much respect to him. Um, I have not talked to him in a long time. So yeah, I'm sure we'll, uh, hopefully we can chat on the phone soon someday. Um, but yeah, no, uh, much respect to him. And that, that, that it means the world to me so yeah thanks <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. no i mean uh, just uh, i don't i don't think we can we can let you go with just revisiting a, a little bit of the past there so yeah you know, we're all sitting at home right and we, we see stuff happening in january down in washington and <laughs> yeah know. and then it's like okay uh you know do you guys were you guys having recordings done was there anything being done at that time if we look back and yeah anything- when i look back there were some things that we wanted to do um you know i don't mind opening up a little bit about it guys you guys you know you guys have been so good to me over the years and you uh throughout throughout the whole thing um you know the media had to do what they had to do to, to do what they had to do you know what i mean and there yeah, are yeah. Cer- certain media outlets just they've got they've got their um fingerprint and if their fingerprint is hey it's drag them through the mud drag them through the mud that's what pays their bills and they got babies to feed you know what i mean and i totally understand that man it's this is the music industry this is entertainment industry i, I get it right but anybody that knows me knows who i am so it's, uh, i have nothing nothing to say about that but you know um so, but you guys were really awesome and most actually most media sites were actually qu- quite quite good about it and and uh you know with the with the rest of the members and and so I, I i much respect to you and you guys were super respectful so i don't mind opening up slightly about it you know there were things that we wanted to do honestly um i was getting a point in my life uh we we hadn't been out for a while because john was doing the demons and wizards thing and he was doing the 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 barlow schaefer project and and it was like oh, the, all these amazing things were happening, and and I was so proud of him, man. I remember crying on the phone with him, like when he was doing all this stuff, because he wanted me to just give him some input on some artwork for when he was first doing the uh, the Wicked Tales thing. And and you know, I remember just like, <clears throat> you know, I was just so proud of him. I'm just, you know, and he knew I was I was doing my thing. So one of uh, a lot of people know that one of my other passions is um, the cannabis plant. So uh, I definitely was, I've been involved in the industry and as soon as things happened in Canada, um, I reeducated myself a little bit and was paired up with the right people. And I was working on a very large cannabis farm and I was doing some very awesome things up there and building a whole kind of um, empire up there. So, uh, and I was, it was a lot of work and and so i was up there and i was really involved in that so it was guys there was a point in my life for the for that three years uh almost four years where i really wasn't 
honestly wasn't thinking about music too much besides my wife and I were doing this little duo thing and are called alley cats and mm -hmm. we were just doing that. But, you know, and, but I was really involved in that industry and building my resume up and, and working with awesome people and innovating and building, helping innovate equipment out there to help with turnkey solutions and the, to help their plant run better. And it was just, it was just a really fun thing. And so it was a passion of mine. So we were all doing our own thing. And, and so, you know, and I, I, I kind of like, what, I've been away from home for so long, like a long time. And I was, I was really happy being, being able to see my wife, you know, and being able to hang at home and, and rekindle things. And, and because you get caught up in the tour life, you get caught up, there's always another tour, there's always other something else to do. And so, mm -hmm. you know, so I was happy being home. So honestly, in the back of my head, I was like, you know, guys, honestly, and, and John and I had talked about it, you know, I was, I was like, man, I think I only got maybe like one more. And I pretty much, I was just, I want to do like one more record, maybe two, you know what I mean? And, wow. and then, and that kind of thing. And, and then step back and just do my thing. And maybe, like I said, do my solo thing, work with into attorney a little bit. So these things were already working in my head years, like a few years ago. Right. And, so, and based on John's track record, you know, uh, you know, different singers, he, he was probably cool with that. Right. From, absolutely. From yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, we didn't talk about it in detail. Like I wasn't leaving the band or anything like that. It was just, uh, even, you know, we were, we were all talking about how long can we do this for? And then, and then the next time we would talk about it, like forever, you know what I mean? And <laughs> yeah, so after you know, a few Bruce you know, there. <laughs> right, right. You know, like, this is what we do, you know, and, and all that kind of stuff. But I just felt like I, you know, for me personally, I was diving in different things and I, and I knew that I wanted to offer other things vocally as well i wanted to venture into different things and all that kind of stuff. And john would never hold me back he, honestly guys he's not like that he doesn't hold people back he doesn't he's not he's a very wonderful that way he's he's not like i own you or anything like that it's not it's not that way at all he's very nurturing he just wants you to do the right things i think he just wants it to be quality and he's all about quality and he's very obsessive about that and 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 everybody knows that down to his merchandise we all know it right so down to the and down to every decision he makes unfortunately one of them was something where he just got caught up and um i don't you know it's we all make bad decisions man and he he, he fucked up real bad yeah and yeah. and 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 he i'm sure man he knows it and i think everybody with half a brain knows it you know and you know, I'm sure there's a lot of famous music. Like I was thinking about it the other day. I was like, there's a lot of famous musicians and a lot of famous actors out there that are huge out there, you know, and if anything, you know, they were, they were at the cap maybe, or they were at the protest on the outskirts or something like that, maybe, but not super famous people, but you know, man, you, you know, the, 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 the line that was crossed with going in and, 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 and all that kind of stuff. And, and, He's just, he had so much going on. It just, it was a shame, you know, and, and did it hurt you? It, it must did. have hurt you. Yeah. It, big time, big time, man. Yeah. It, it hurt, it hurt me like right now. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. it's, you know, I don't want to talk about it much anymore, but like, you know, it's just, um, it, it's yeah. very, it hurts. Cause like, you know, you got plans and all of a sudden you can't tell someone what to do guys. You can't st tell a very strong willed individual what to do. You can't. And so it would be, it would be lost. It would be you lost know, words, and I didn't we, want to. We had cause John. Any, we were able, to, you, know, uh, you know, like you said on the dystopia tour, and then we saw him with Demons or Wizards quite, quite recently. And you know, John's the same age as Jimmy and I, and and always accommodating, just a great interview. And and you know what? Not everybody agrees, but that's fine. We don't want to have cookie cutter uh, interviews all the time. And you know, John got me to read about the Civil War because of the Glorious Burden, and then I read yeah. Creatures from Jekyll Island because of Sons of Liberty. And it's great yeah, to have other was, perspectives. And, and absolutely, you know, all is. this stuff is kind of. I think John's message of our interviews, like guys, let's all open our eyes. Let let let's not be yeah. cheap, you know. And, absolutely, and so you can respect that point of view. But mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. like you, you said, can. Maybe, <clears throat> You know what? Actually, Stu, I just want to I want to make a comment here, and I was pretty upset. Oh yeah, the situation upset me, but I was pretty upset how they there was some sites attacking you, like like just attacking you. You're like you live in Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada, and they were attacking yeah. you like you were some sort of perpetrator. And I guess you don't have to comment on this. It just upset me to see you get dragged in the mud. And it was and uncalled the game, for. The game and they were just played. looking for anything between the lines. You uh -huh. know, they're just kind of looking in between the lines and just to get a headline or something. And I, 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 I and there was a lot of sites too that were sort of, you know, they were 
balanced they were cool. and fair. Yeah, right? they were yeah. fair. Yeah. Man, well, I, I only brought it up because, you know, you, at the time, the three of <clears> the other <throat> members and you were talking about doing something, a project together at, at that time. And I, I don't know where that that's at, or that's part of the top secret tease that we're, <laughs> we're learning sorry, what, about. Sorry, to. what? Mem- sorry, what? Well, members? The other members of Ice Earth at that oh, time. When you, no, you know, no, no, that's not. No, like they all have like Luke has his bands and, you know, uh, Jake has his and they're they're all they're on a journey for sure there and i think it's going to be a beautiful one i i was very blessed to be able to do a cool revelations cover uh with uh luke we, we did yeah, a cool uh cover right. of uh, iron maiden's revelations oh, and yeah. so it was really fun to be able to hit that tone in my voice uh, and it was that was fun too and um you know we're, we're always going to probably do cool maybe do some cool stuff with each other in the future but no yeah no the other thing next month is, is totally different but um <laughs> i thought that was yeah. good yeah, no, no. Toss um, that but... one off the list. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll play 20 I questions. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. <laughs> you, you, you caught me. <laughs> but anyway, you know, just to slide forward, um, you know, I, at the end of the day, I don't hate him. I don't hate, like, I'm not, like, writhing in hate for him. You know, I, I feel sad. I feel bad, you know, that everything went down the way it did. And maybe one day in a few, he, you know, we'll, maybe one day we'll talk. I don't know. I'm not too sure, but I think he knows. He, he I think he knows that I, there's. I still have a place in my heart for him because I've seen. I've seen that man do a lot of amazing, wonderful things for people, and and so it's. So you know, whatever. But I just will move on, and you know, that's what it is. You know, it's, you know. I'll just leave you with this. Uh, me and Alan, of course, we've interviewed John many times, and yourself, and and we're talking about before all of this. There was always that brotherhood and and a friendship and a kindness yeah. to each other. Yeah. And, and and I mean, he's gone through singers like you know like you know, socks. Right. And, but there was something about you and he hold held a special place for you just by interviewing him and, and hearing it come out of his, you know, his, his words, I guess. Yeah. So, yeah. And, 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 you know, anyways, I don't want to, again, you know, well, let's talk about the future and, uh, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. It All sucks. Right. Man. Yeah. 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 You know, um, okay, we'll move along. And, uh, was there any, how about this? Was there any material that was being worked on iced earth wise before all this? Anything in the can? Uh, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. no, unfortunately not. No, um, no, there wasn't. Uh, there wasn't that. But uh, but yeah, no, there, we were working on a we were working on a plan to do some stuff and and but you know just yeah just didn't come to fruition. That's all. Okay. All right. Yeah. Good enough. Well, uh, lots of other stuff on the go that hopefully we'll yeah, hear man, about I'm excited. A time and yeah, I'm excited. I think it'll be good. And and like I said, I just want to bring. I want to bring. Like the, there's a lot of people that I I want to sing for, and you know there's a lot of awesome. Like the fans are just so cool, man. Like the ones that have been have stuck around, and which is a vast majority. Which is I was like, wow. <laughs> yeah. I was like damn man like so as so i i owe it i owe it to myself and of course i owe it to to the beautiful amazing fans out there that, that have supported me how, how about this for all the fans out there who are watching who have never heard of into eternity and you know it's not the biggest band but it's not the smallest band either describe to them what you're in for musically um so as far as yeah like you're in for a, like, see the great thing about into eternity is it's i i look at it as like a white canvas band kind of thing so you know, I, I, it's, we can do kind of whatever we want. We, we, it's a blank canvas that, that we can just kind of create whatever we want. The fans know that we always kind of, um, we always kind of just venture into new territory and we venture into different things. So the cool thing about into eternity fans is that they, they kind of never, they know that they're going to get awesome vocal harmonies and they know they're going to get ass like really awesome guitar shredding and, and all that kind of stuff. But, um, going forward we've got a real real cool vision going forward uh now that we have two vocalists not only just well three vocalists because tim like i said is just a phenomenal vocalist and then troy and matt they can do nice clean tones as well so and then we can all do death vocals so there's a lot of counter melody stuff that we can do again with the uh, a la buried in oblivion and uh dead and dead or dreaming those two albums so we can really start uh performing those parts exactly like the album so we're really looking forward to like i said refining the set and jamming more together and uh everyone is just a phenomenal talent you know brian newberry he's an amazing drummer um uh and he's a real character and everyone's just a real character and i think uh, everyone brings that cool that cool um almost really uh uh, uh, just they they have their own fingerprint artistic edge and and everyone's got uh their cool uh, 
cool inputs. So um, I really am very looking forward to the the music that we're going to write and bring forth uh, in the coming months. And uh, so we're going to be revealing some of that plan uh, soon. Um, after this interview. After this, right interview. after this interview. No, no, no. I'll give you guys. I'll give you guys. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I want, you know, what I really wanted to do is I wanted to bring Tim in on it. You know what I mean? Sure. And so, yeah, yeah. And, and perhaps even Amanda and we, we could all, you know, just, uh, uh, do a zoom meeting do a zoom meeting and then there that would be go. fun so so uh you know so definitely very cool stuff in the future we there is one song that is fully fully a new brand new song fully mm-hmm. written um and it was released well there's actually two i apologize one is called nuclear and the other one's called king and his throne and uh it, both of them were de- uh, released as demos with uh, just tim's vocal on it and then king and his throne is is a duel between tim and troy uh, so what I'm going to be doing is uh, I'm going to be taking those two songs and be going to be uh, doing my own arrangements vocally. Uh, and um, we're going to be adding, uh, so King and His Throne, we're going to be attacking it as uh, uh, me, Tim, and Troy. We're going to do an arrangement that way. And then we'll do another arrangement adding Amanda as well. So we're going to do different wow. releases uh, with slightly different arrangements vocally for people to enjoy of each song. So I think that's the really cool thing with with this is that people, we can actually do a song but give them a different release so we can do like the same song but then they can hear a different release maybe a different counter melody add a counter melody into it and make it so they're hearing a bigger version and so they can so i think it'll that's the really um awesome thing about into eternity is that the sky's the limit it's a blank canvas and uh and we're we're ready to uh, paint that canvas it, for the rest could of call the toddler this... tory throw him in the mix <gasps> yeah, get well, his guess. <laughs> that would be don't tease. Me. See now you're teasing me. <laughs> Todd, get get Todd on the line. Get Todd, Todd, you're watching. Well, Todd no, is. you know what the cool thing was, man. I was listening. He did, he did some death vocals, man. And yeah, I was just yeah. like, I was just like, dude, really? Like this is you're blowing me away here. So I'm we super. Interv- that guy is just a machine. I'm we telling were you. interviewing him, and your name came up, and like Jimmy said, that's the story you told right away. You remembered mm-hmm. that note right away that you hit, and uh, yeah. yeah, Todd's been on the show a lot. He's a great guy. That's and awesome. Just, just, yeah. and so lyrically, is everybody contributes to the lyrics. How's it working? Yeah. Well, when I was in the band, Tim and I would write. Um, now uh, uh, Troy would uh, help out as well. Um, now going forward, Amanda is an amazing lyricist, so I, I write. Amanda writes. Tim writes. It's Troy writes so um, and I believe Matt writes so I'm this isn't a thing where like I we're just doing the writing you know kind of thing um, I want all open opportunities for people to contribute lyrically because I just want it to be uh, all of us with a paintbrush uh, you know what I mean of course there has to be like okay we got to control this and that and the other that has to be like control a little bit you know because then we're all like uh, young puppies peeing all over each other's uh, <laughs> feet you know what I mean the intentions are there and it's all love, but yeah yeah exactly it's, the intentions are good it's all love but yeah we definitely need to organize but i think we're good at re- self-regulating that. so i think they, we're, they we're good still, at self-regulating they were still a working band right i mean it's not like they've been sitting on their hands uh, waiting for you to uh you know yeah no they put out about albums the uh, the sirens and uh awesome album and uh you know um it's just uh, i think you know life everyone was doing their own thing i think um you know uh, that's just how it is. It, it was um, picking and choosing when they want to do stuff and, and labels and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. So, but I think the foundation is being built and I think that um, it's a good foundation. And I think going forward, we're trying, we're going to try and build a good team so we can bring this to the masses, high quality music, high quality merchandise and high quality shows. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's, that's what we want, you know, um, oh, should we write on the t-shirt? High quality. <laughs> high quality high quality but you know so and and i think it really speaks t- forth with with again you know to draw back to john that's what he taught me everything was all about quality 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 not quantity you know and all that kind of stuff so i think um you know i learned that and i think a lot of bands that are very successful do you know they follow that path so uh we're, we're looking forward to it man we're looking forward to it and uh and like i said as far as my my solo thing um i'm really looking forward to, to working with all sorts of different artists todd uh, <laughs> uh as well um and uh so yeah it'll be fun i think uh i think you know I would love to go to Europe as as do, doing my solo thing as well. Just do some maybe some United States shows as well. And you gotta just, go to Greece. You gotta go, go to oh Greece. Oh man, I'm telling you, I love I love 
I love I love it there. I'll, the I'll roadie it's for you. Amazing. If you go to Greece, yeah. I'll roadie okay. for free. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. And then uh, we'll we'll go to a small cafe and listen to some amazing. Uh, was it the bazooki? The bazooki. The bazooki. The bazooki. Yes, yeah. Bazooki. Oh my lord. Yeah. Just amazing. I, I, got, I got goosebumps just thinking of you and Todd singing together. I'm still. I'm still. Mm-hmm. I can't get past that. That would be. Yeah, oh, that you gotta get fun. past it. <laughs> I, I actually, actually, I wanted to get my phone to text him and go jump on, jump on. But I think he's sort of maybe he's at a sound check or something. I don't know where he is. Oh yeah, he's probably busy. Don't bother him. <laughs> no, that's what I do. Busy. That's what I, I know. do. <laughs> Jimmy, you're great, man. You're great. No, that's awesome. <laughs> anyway, no, I really um, appreciate. Yeah, for sure. So, actually, I had another question for you in regards okay. to I, I, when. I think we spoke to Jeff Waters and he goes, if there was any singer that I add as a singer to Annihilator, it would be you, Stu Block. Mm-hmm. I mean, has he ever approached you? Has he ever, have you guys had any talks together or is that one of your know. secrets? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. know like, yeah. yeah I mean, I mean, I t- here, listen, Jeff and I have talked many times. We've talked mm-hmm. many times. And we, whenever we see each other at festivals, we're always like, I'm like, your guitar, your voice, your guitar. Like, it's, it's great. We, we, we have a great time. And, and uh, he's just a fun guy. And I remember it was just so fun hanging with him on the 70,000 tons of metal, uh, doing the, the jam with him and doing Painkiller. And that was super fun. So, yeah, no. Um, yeah, you never know. You never know what this It's a crazy world. You never world. know what happens, <laughs> uh, but him. yeah, so you never know. Well, keeping with the Canadian content of the show today, what what are three of the classic Canadian bands that you enjoyed growing up listening to? Yeah, that's a good question. And it could be any, any, any yeah, field. Yeah, we'll try. Like, jazz. Triumph. Triumph. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, big, big, big. Um, Nazareth, right? Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. they weren't Canadian, really. Well, well, yeah, I, okay, well, I guess not, but... um. Uh, you know, uh, then uh, like uh, Three Inches of Blood was a big influence of mine. Oh, really? Canadian, uh, yeah, not huge or anything like that. Um, but yeah, man, I mean, I rush, you know, rush, rush of course. I think that's always a given. Um, and yeah, man, just uh, I growing up, I, I was exposed to a lot. Like, you funny, I was exposed to a lot of classical music and a lot of like Phil Collins and a lot of like different different genres and stuff. My parents weren't super into like. But it's like Toronto, you know what I mean? Yeah, All yeah, that. Yeah. But the classics for sure. Um, but mostly when I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah well, there's lots, yeah. but. Nobody knows the Northern Pikes that's watching this show. Yeah, pretty. <laughs> she just looks that way. Go, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> Other no, influences. But, okay. So there's different, uh, I mean, genres, yeah, no, right? Like, I mean. Yeah. I mean, I was, you know, growing up in Vancouver, it was, I was part of a local scene too. So there's a lot of local bands I could say that no one would even know. But, but you know, so, uh, but definitely the, the classics, like, you know, like you said, Rush and, and uh, you know, Toronto and all the, all the, all the main staples. But uh, definitely um, I'm influenced by all sorts of stuff. You know, like I said, growing up, I was influenced by, um everything from crooner to classical to uh man it was, was it like cory hart you know yeah. and stuff like that from and Montreal. Uh, Bri- Bri- oh brian adams big time there you go. big time Vancouver. Oh, Vancouver. Brian, Vancouver. brian adams yes uh and so you know it all comes back uh but yeah so yeah i mean all that stuff you had, was, you had was, lover boy you had lover boy in the lover West boy. coast yeah and then I, going into the prairies you had uh, or manitoba you had neil lover young boy. right yeah, Neil yeah. Young, well, and then you had BTO in the Maritimes, yeah. then Saskatchewan, you had Maritimes. the Northern Pikes, I guess. Right. <laughs> and then going in Ontario, well, you had Rush and, Tor- and Toronto, and Head- uh, Headpins actually Head- were Well, Toronto. where... Head- Toronto. Toronto. I always thought Vancouver, well, I don't know why I think Vancouver. Maybe it was Vancouver. Yeah, Vancouver. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah because of Brian McLeod, right? Yeah. yeah and was, Hart, yeah, Hart is the biggest, see, Hart, everybody thinks they were Canadian, and it's always this, this myth that they were Canadian, but they actually left the u.s i know i was gonna yeah, yeah yeah but yeah there's a lot of bands that did that you know they have canadian members but you know most of them are american or whatever but yeah yeah but yeah no i mean lots of influences man um but growing up just a multitude of influences you know uh but i definitely as long as it's done well and i i respect it man you know but um 
Iced Earth's horror show was one of the biggest. Uh, I was I spanned the shit out of that man. It was wow. like, yeah, um, uh, that was one of because I loved horror movies and stuff. I was getting as soon as I started getting into metal, I went to a place called Scrape Records in Vancouver, and that's uh, JJ. If you're if you're watching, right on. <laughs> um, but uh, you know, and that and that's where kind of like he would he would hold all of the local bands and stuff like that, and you know, he awesome suggestions. And when I was when I was learning about, but yeah, this I remember getting introduced to iced earth when i was a young lad and you know but yeah it was uh how old are you iron maiden are you i'm 43 43 yeah yeah okay yeah, yeah i guess i you're, remember you're 43 sort of that, yeah. i remember yeah. 43 too it was 10 years <laughs> <Yeah>. ago <laughs> it was um, 10 years ago <laughs> head pins formed in vancouver from the former chilliwack members remember right, chilliwack? yeah Brian chilliwack. right chilliwack long yeah. gone gone you should have gone so long yeah. right man and in All quebec right. you had in quebec Going down the thing here, you know, you had Quebec, you had Voivod, and you had a whole bunch Voivod, of Voivod, yeah, Voivod, yeah, which is mm -hmm. a great band still. Def Dealer, Sword, April Wine, Sword, April Wine, April Frank Wine, yeah. Marino, Frank Marino, yeah, there you go, yeah, yeah, and then Kim, going Mi in, Kim Mitchell, Kim Mitchell, <laughs> yeah, 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 you know, Max Webster, yeah. um, vaguely. Nice. Max Webster was actually Kim Mitchell was from Max Webster. Oh, okay. Lear, right. The Iron apparently she saw the first show there in her high school. Learn. Biff Naked. Mm. Yeah, 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 from Vancouver, that's right. From Vancouver, My, yes. right? My cousin's favorite. Biff, yeah. man. Yeah, for sure. She's she right. rocks. All right. Yeah. That's well, pretty much it. I think, Stu, you know, we'll have you back on. and maybe We have we to. Talk. I appreciate yeah. it. Tease the hell out of us. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I appreciate it, guys. And again, thank you so much for just being you and doing what you guys do. And I can't wait to come back. You know, yeah. we're there for fellow Canadians. We're always there <laughs> for you. And uh, we're very loyal to Promoting our Promoting a young 43-year-old talent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting the grades. And, uh, you know, it's a good hair day. You don't see it thinning. There you go. <laughs> we, yeah, we know all about that. Right. <laughs> Too much about that. <laughs> okay. Right. All right, man. Have yourself a wonderful all day. Right. Okay? All right, Thanks. guys. Thank Thanks. you. Yeah. Well, all right. All the best. See ya. Okay. Okay.